Hello everyone. In this video, I will show you how we can export data directly from Power BI reports to an Excel file or a CSV file. We can store this file in SharePoint, OneDrive, or send it out as an email. I will also show you how we can directly query a Power BI data set in Power Automate. This allows us to work with large data. So let's check it out in action. I have a Power BI report that showcases sales data, a tracking information around the manufacturer, product, the revenue generated, and more. Now to export data directly from a Power BI report, we can take advantage of Power Automate. So let's edit the Power BI report. And from visualizations, we have a Power Automate for Power BI Visual. For the Power Automate Visual, we can select the fields that we would like to pass from our Power BI data set. I would like to pass manufacturer, product, segment, and the sum of revenue. Next, I will select the three ellipses for the visual and head over to edit. And this will launch the Power Automate portal directly inside the context of Power BI. Here, I will head over to new and create an instant cloud flow. This flow gets triggered on click of a button in Power BI. That visual will transform into a button once we create the flow and apply it to the visual. Next, I'll click on new step. I'll search for CSV and Power Automate has a create CSV table action from expects an array from dynamic content we can see the different properties that the Power BI button clicked trigger action exposes. We can get information about the user that clicks the button in the Power BI report, the time at which the button was clicked. Here are the different fields that we passed from the Power BI dataset to the Power Automate visual. In this case, since we are trying to create a CSV table based on an array of data, there is a dynamic content property called Power BI data that has the data set that's being passed in tabular form. So I will select this. I would like to store this data in a document library in SharePoint in which I'll create a folder. I'll call this sales data CSV. So the CSV file that flow will generate, I would like to store it in this folder. I will add a new step, create file in SharePoint, my SharePoint site. I'll plug the URL, my folder path. I will go to my document library, click show contents. Here is my folder. I'll select this. I can give the file a name. I'll call it sales data. I will head over to expression and plug in the expression UTC now, which will put the current date and time in UTC format. Very important to also provide the file extension right here. So dot CSV and the file content, that would be dynamic content output from the create CSV table action. I will give my flow a name and I will click save. Once the flow is saved, it's very important to click save and apply because this will go ahead and apply this flow with our Power Automate visual in the Power BI report. And if I click back to report, that visual now transforms into a button, which I will position on the right hand side in my scenario here. And I can go ahead and click save. If I click on run now, 
Power Automate will generate that CSV file. Any filters that I apply at the report level will be respected. If I pick the manufacturer Leo, and let's say the country I pick as USA, if I go ahead and click run flow, you can see how the flow is triggered. And if we go to SharePoint, we can see a new file. This CSV file will have the data coming in directly from my Power BI report. Let's change the filters. I will pick a different manufacturer. I'll click run. We can see another file has been created. I select this. And here is the data set in the CSV file. Now the same data, we can also export it to an Excel file. In order to do that, I'll first upload a sample Excel file. And this Excel file has a table that I have created called sales data. So back to my Power BI report, once again, I will add the Power Automate visual. I'll pass product manufacturer, category, and the revenue. Now the names here, I would want to make sure that I match with the names of my columns in my Excel table. Product, manufacturer, category, revenue. Product, manufacturer, category, sum of revenue. So this one, I will rename it only for this visual. And I've called it revenue. Next, I'll go to three ellipses and edit. I'll go ahead and create a new flow. First step, I'll read the data from my template file. So I'll use the action get file content using path from SharePoint. Point to my SharePoint site. For the file path, I will go to my document library, show contents and pick my template file. Next, I will create a file based on this template. And that file I would like to create in a folder that I've called as sales data XLSX. So I'll add a step called create file from SharePoint, creating the file in my Contoso site, folder path, Share documents and I'll select my new folder. The file name, sales data. Once again, to keep the name unique, I will use UTC now. And this time, my file extension is XLSX. File content will come from the dynamic content, file content. We need to load data into this file. And to do that, we will first add and apply to each loop. Here, we will loop through the tabular data, Power BI data dynamic content. I'll click add an action, add a row into a table, Excel online business. The location will be my SharePoint site Contoso. The document library will be my documents library. The file property, this would be the ID dynamic content. The table, because the file itself is not yet created until the flow runs, the flow is not able to comprehend the table within it. However, we know the name of the table in our Excel file. The table is called sales data. So I will go to enter custom value and put in sales data. This will open up a row property. And for row, I will pick Power BI data item. I'll give the flow a name and click save. And then click save and apply to apply this flow to my Power BI visual. Back to report. The visual transforms into a button. I will place right next to my other button. For the visual, 
if you go to format we can change the text of the button and apply other formatting options this one i have renamed to export to excel in the previous one i renamed to csv i'll click save back to my report if i click export to excel this will trigger my flow which create a file in my specific folder here based on that excel template and we can see how the data is starting to load in that excel table now if i'm sharing this power bi report with my users i need to also ensure that i give access to my users to run these flows all i have to do is go to the flow and we have an option called run only users i'll click edit i can enter the users who i would like to share the flow with i can also share this with security groups and click save if i was to run my flow the csv file that it generates will contain large data however if you notice the output that it has generated has stopped at a thousand the reason is because when you pass data from power bi to the power automate visual it can only pass up to a maximum of 1000 records this limit cannot be exceeded so what about scenarios wherein we need to work with large data i will insert the power automate visual and for this visual i will not pass any fields from my power bi data set so in this case i'll directly go to edit and create an instant cloud flow i'll click a new step in the power bi connector we have an action called run a query against a data set this uses the power bi rest api to run a query and this query is a dax query so i need to point to my workspace my workspace is contoso where that sales data set is existing and this is where i need to provide my query now if you are not an expert at dax like me no problem if we head over to power bi desktop here's a visual that is showcasing the data that i would like to export and this has large data so to get the dax query behind this i can simply go to view and go to performance analyzer click start recording hover over the visual there's an option here to analyze this visual i'll select this it has analyzed the visual i'll open the table and i'll go ahead and copy the query this query i will paste in a notepad this is nothing but my dax query back to my flow here i will paste that query that i copied from the performance analyzer there's a part of the code here that says top n so it only gets the first 501 records this can handle large data up to 100k and this will return all that data for me in one go i'll click new step next i'll use the create csv table action from first table rows dynamic content from run a query against the data set action and next step is create a file in sharepoint in my contoso site so for my document library here is my sales data folder similar steps as before i'll give my file a name extension.csv and file content i'll save my flow save and apply back to my report i've changed the visualization for this button let's test this out i'll click export the flow has triggered remember even if i apply any filters 
it won't be respected in this flow run because this flow is directly querying the data set. And back to my SharePoint library, my folder sales data gets the latest CSV file and this will have the large data. Now this flow that we just created for large data export, this flow is being triggered from the Power BI report. And because this flow is directly querying the data set, I can choose a different trigger as well. For example, I can start this flow manually myself directly by going to Power Automate or by leveraging the Power Automate mobile app. Or I can run this flow on a schedule. If I go back to Power BI desktop, I have this visual that is generating the sum of revenue. And if you look at the filters for this visual, if I select a specific country, let's say Australia in this case, it's gone ahead and filtered that visual. So I'll go to performance analyzer, start recording for this visual. I'll click analyze, go to card. Here is my query. I'll copy this for my flow. I will change the query, the country, which is Australia. Let's say I'm manually triggering the flow. I can also add an input. I'll pick a text input. I'll call this country and here I will add a drop down list of options for the user to select from. Here in the query where Australia is hard coded, I'll make this dynamic. From dynamic content, I will pick my input, which is country. So let's go ahead and save this. This flow, I can directly run from the browser. It's asking me for the country. Let's say I pick Australia and I click run. The flow has triggered. The flow has succeeded. The flow is generating the CSV file. Here it is on SharePoint. And the revenue that it has generated is for the country Australia. So let's say Canada. Let's run another one for Germany. My flows are running. My files are being created. Here's the revenue for Canada. Here's the result for Germany. If you enjoyed this video, then do like, comment and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And thank you so much for watching.